Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the Draw My Life video, which is basically me drawing my life. Really crappy, because I am not an artist. I thought it would be really cool if I share with you guys my story, so let's get started. So my name is Joseph Michael Graceffa, and I was born May 16th, 1991, and I remember I hated my name growing up. I think I had my parents call me Cody for a week, but I hate it, so I made them call me Joey again. When I was brought into this world, my family consisted of my dad, my mom, and my sister Nicole, who is five years older than me, and then, of course, me. When I was really young, my parents got divorced, so it didn't really affect me because I didn't really know of anything else. So it was just me, my mom, and my sister for the majority of the beginning of my life, and my mom was the most loving mother I could ask for. I remember she would put me on her hip and we'd dance around the living room listening to music. I was such a mama's boy, like whenever my mom would go out at night and she wouldn't come home till late, the babysitter would have to give me her picture for me to be able to fall asleep. So, yep, mama's boy alert. Me, my sister, and my mom lived in a really old apartment complex growing up, and some paint chips had fallen off the window and gotten on my toys, and me, being the child I was, decided to eat the chips, and it gave me lead paint poisoning, which ended up causing me to have a learning disability, and I spent the most of my schooling in special education classes. I lived with just my mom and my sister for a few years, and I just looked up to my sister so much. She was my role model, and she was the coolest person ever, and I wanted to be just like her, so I would do things that she would do, like wear dresses and play with dolls, but this ended up getting me teased a lot by my cousins, and they'd call me Josephina, which really hurt my feelings. I also had a pretty tough time at school. Um, I mostly only hung out with girls because it's where I felt most comfortable, and a lot of the guys would make fun of me and call me gay or faggot or call me a girl. And this made it really hard for me to be able to make friends with guys for most of my life because I just figured that they were all mean. When I was five years old, my mom met my stepdad, Bob, who I actually called the Chinese man because he would always bring over Chinese food for dinner, even though he wasn't Chinese. Um, but he became one of my biggest role models and taught me that anything in life was possible as long as I worked hard enough. When I was seven years old, I actually fell off my bunk bed and cracked my head open because I was trying to bring my two little kittens to the top bunk in a blanket and I dropped the blanket on the way up and in an attempt to save them, I fell off the top bunk and landed on my head on a birdhouse that I created. I just remember reaching up and feeling the blood come out of my head and I started screaming and my parents rushed me to the hospital and I got five staples in my head. And for being a good boy, I got two Pokemon booster packs and one of them actually had a Charizard in it. So uh, yeah, I know that's a really good Charizard, isn't it? <laughs> but I guess it was worth getting my head cracked open, right? No, it freaking hurt. At 12 years old, my mom started heavily drinking and soon became an alcoholic, which was really hard growing up because I didn't feel like I had a mom I could rely on. My mom and stepdad's relationship wasn't doing that well and they decided to separate. So they sold the house and once again, it was just me, my sister and my mom. And my sister and my mom got into some pretty heated arguments almost every single day because of my mom's drinking. So my sister decided to move out and live with my dad. My dad was definitely really hard on me growing up. He didn't like that my only friends were girls and he wanted me to be more of a masculine son. But when I got into eighth grade, I think he just gave up and finally accepted me for who I was. And he's also my biggest fan now and I can tell that he's very proud of me. In 8th grade, I wanted to become an actor, so I auditioned for my high school play, and I actually ended up getting the lead role. And this was definitely one of my favorite memories of high school. When I was 15, my mom and stepdad's relationship started getting better, and my stepdad moved in, and my mom sobered up for two years. And then, they had a baby named Jet, and I was super excited because I'd always wanted a younger sibling that I could boss around and tell them what to do. But as time progressed, he was diagnosed with a form of autism, which meant that he wasn't able to communicate with us verbally. Which, of course, has been really hard because I know he would say some of the craziest and funniest things. In my first year of high school, I met a girl named Brittany Joyle, and we became best friends immediately. We just had so much fun together, and we clicked so well. We would hang out every single weekend and play video games, and we would annoy the crap out of people on Call of Duty Xbox Live because we would sing Allie and AJ and Jonas Brothers songs, and we called ourselves DJ Joey and DJ Brittany. People hated us. At 16 years old, we decided to start a YouTube channel called Winter Spring Pro and just make little sketches and try to build up an audience. 
and it eventually started taking off and after a few months we became YouTube partners which meant that we could start making money on our videos. College time came around and I really wanted to major in film so I applied to my dream school Emerson and was denied. I was so heartbroken but I ended up going to the stupid crusty state school and I was so miserable. I became very lonely and the most depressed I think I've ever been in life. But I found my comfort in YouTube and the majority of my friends were online friends. So I decided to drop out of college. When I turned 19 I decided to move to LA and follow my dream of being an actor and make YouTube a full time job. Also to escape my mother who had now been drinking heavily again. So, Brittany and I packed up her car and drove cross-country from Boston to Los Angeles for four days straight. When we arrived in LA, we made a ton of YouTube friends and I immediately felt like I belonged and I now have the best group of friends that I could ever ask for. They all accept me for who I am and I don't feel like I have to be anyone but me. After living in LA for a year, I decided to branch off of Winter Spring Pro and start my Joy Grisepa channel and eventually make the decision to vlog every single day. I worked really hard and was truly passionate about YouTube again, and I started getting recognition and had a really cool story that got me noticed by the TV show The Amazing Race, which has seriously been the coolest experience of my life. Today I'm still making videos on a daily basis and trying to make my dreams of being an actor come true. Although I went through a lot of struggles in my life growing up, it's made me into the person that I am today. I know that this is just the beginning of an even more epic journey ahead of me, and I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. And if there's anything that I want you guys to take from this video is that you don't have to be a victim of your environment and just know that life gets so much better and you can truly achieve anything in life as long as you work hard enough. So yeah, keep your head up and no dream is too crazy. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and I will see you guys tomorrow. May the odds be ever in your favor. Goodbye. Anyways, how did you target? Gonna get that whiteboard, probably some other stuff. And I'm gonna make this Draw My Life video. I've already scripted it all out. Just need to draw it, which I'm a little worried about because I am not the best artist. 